this! Would you just die already? Hey, can we do something about this sparking noise? How would I know? Just cancel the interlink or something, I guess. It only starts after an extended period, after our bodies start to heat up. To me, it sounds like a warning for something. A warning? <sighs> what do you think will happen if we leave it? Huh? I don't have much desire to find out. Think it's something dangerous? Well, it can't be anything fun. You expect balloons and confetti with that noise? Maybe not. Hmm. Oh, too bad, Jay. <laughs> Looks like that backfired on you, didn't it? Better be prepared for the consequences. Really? I was only interested in putting in an appearance. You're making it sound like I took some huge risk. Oh, come on now, guys. Jay's been on the bench all this time. I get why he might be a little stimulated by a bit of drama. Well, it was pretty dramatic, I'll give you that. <laughs> you seem pleased with yourself. P.O. N wants to see you. Does he now? Mm. Is it our turn to shine? I don't know. I've got zero idea what's going through his brain sometimes. Not even you? I'm sure Em could tell you. Now that she's shown herself recently. Hmm. What could it be? I do hope it's something fun. Let's be off, though. Right, yo! Have a good one. rare thing?
think you saw a supply drop over there? I'll need a hand here. Say the word. They're on us. Orders? Better make sure we're well rested. I definitely feel stronger. To me, looks good to me. Looks good to me. I'm eager to run some tests. <sighs> ah, 
Ah, there you are. I don't want to mither, but aren't you on tent duty today? Oh, I'm sorry I forgot. I'll head back and... What? It's all finished. Huh? We already packed it all up. <sighs> then what was the point of telling me? Don't you have better things to do? Hey, you owe us one. I'm just joking. Are you okay? What do you mean, okay? These last few days, it's been a lot, right? That's why you're concerned? Yeah, you got it. We were worried. Your problems are our problems. Just because someone says they're doing okay, doesn't mean everything actually is fine with them. You know, there's a word for people like you. Hmm? Busy bodies, all of you. Now, Tyrant, that is completely uncalled for. <laughs> huh? You two really must be bored stiff. Good grief. Everyone needs to let off steam. Is my life that entertaining to you? <laughs> I'll allow it. Hey, that watch. Our lifetimes run for ten years only. But this pocket watch has already lived for longer than that. By being passed from Nimue's hands to mine. What Guernica said to us on that battlefield. I don't know what you made of it exactly, but frankly, to me, it was a load of nonsense. Not even enough to push us together. Hmm. But that's changed. If Nimue's life is represented by her dreams, then in remembering those, I carry her life with me. Perhaps now, I can give a purpose to my life. She'd live on if I were to pass her dreams on to others. Right? Heavy. Also, I've done some thinking. If I had just, say, ten more years, no, even five, with just a bit of borrowed time, how many more memories could I fit inside this little pocket watch? And that's why you're here now? That's half of it. What's the other half, then? Oh, uh, well... In fact, just forget it. Oh, come on! You've already told us that much. Might as well give us the whole story. Th this is just not the place or time for it. That's all. Lame. Still, it was a nice chat. Dreams in objects. Huh? <laughs> what? Huh? Thanks, Tyon. We came here to cheer you up a bit and got food for thought instead. Oh, sure. Anytime. Neo. We'll have to climb up here to exit the Great Falls area. If you're having a hard time, Mimi, I'll be more than happy to carry you. Huh? Is that... 
Never seen this place before. Keves Castle, all right? First time seeing it. Yeah. Same level of elaborate as Castle of Agnes. Can also see Great Sword on left. Are we going through with this? No. I see it's far too risky now. The area will be under strict guard. But down slope, we could go via the forest. Mac to Wildwood, huh? Doesn't sound too bad to me. Never been this far in before. Me neither. The last time I had an audience with the Queen, she had come in person to the war front. Commander Ethel, Fornis Forward, Army's Colony 4. Reporting in as ordered, Your Majesty. It has been some time, hasn't it? Ma'am, I'm elated to find you in good stead, Your Majesty. That you would grace us with your presence is an honor above my station. We can dispense with the stiff preambles, Ethel. N. Ma'am. N. 
Consul N. That's him. N. The head honcho of Cavesi Consuls himself. The Golden Consul. What is that? The Annihilator. The latest weapon in our military arsenal. It utilizes breakthroughs in application of the Annihilation Effect. You've harnessed it. Not only is its power without equal, it has another exquisite benefit. Let me show you. What? You mean, right here and now? Indeed. This will be its finest hour. The Orion Mountains. A terrible shame. Her Majesty has a soft spot for them. Please do not think ill of me. What? What? What was that? Just thunder, innit? Brighter than any lightning I've ever seen. Still ringing in ears. Where did the light come from? No idea. But this can't be good. What incredible power! Its effective range has no discernible limit whatsoever. W what are you...? I'm saying an attack like the one you just witnessed can be delivered anywhere. So you mean to use this weapon against Agnes? Uh, if you're to use this, then what about the clocks? Who said anything about using it on Agnes? Mom? The next target will be this. What's this? Should be reaching Mac the Wildwood soon. I hear it's tough going inside. We'd best be on the lookout. Not to worry, just stick to the plan. Watch the moss, guys. Mind you don't slip. Whoa. Yeah! <laughs> he says, falling flat on his ass himself. Oh, yeah. Bloody hilarious. You're always taking the mick out of me. Noah. Huh? Did you say something? Oh, for... Don't come crying if you fall. You seem like you're a million miles away. Lot on your mind? Yeah. Kinda.
Uh, Mio! Ah, uh, thank you. Are you okay? Yeah, I just lost my footing for a second. I I'm okay. For now, I'm okay. For now? Are you not feeling a hundred percent? Huh? Nah, nothing like that. I'm totally fine, promise. Like I said, I just miss my footing. If you start feeling worse, just say. I don't want you hiding it. Mm. You're a kind man, aren't you? I, I, I'm just being polite. Whoa! <laughs> oh. So what was on your mind, earlier? Yeah, that light. I was wondering if it had anything to do with us. You think maybe, could it have been something that Mobius did? Huh? We know that they're hunting us. Mm. Tyon, you told us before that our consoles were actually the same. Yeah. I did say that. After that, nobody said so, but we were all thinking it. The war between Agnes and Keves and the consuls, or rather, Mobius. They must be connected somehow. It could be that all the fighting, it might be that it's all orchestrated according to Mobius. And to them, Ouroboros only spell trouble. Since we keep wrecking their flame clocks and all, they must really hate us messing with their stuff, I guess. So we're one big thorn in their side? Hmm. It does stand to reason that's why we're their targets. But it doesn't tell us anything about why our colonies fight. Any theories? Not as yet. But I figure, isn't discovering that our real objective here, right? If we seek out the city, maybe we'll find answers. One way to know. It's good to keep a record. 